deal with what mess exactly? Because I said that a woman should not put her life on the back burner for a boyfriend. She should not cater to a man she's not guaranteed to be with. See, comments like this are proving my point. Y'all want mothers, not girlfriends. And you know you're not going to get it from us. So you go date other races to deal with your weak ass. So you don't have no choice but to go to the other side. And baby, y'all are not the only ones with options. I could walk outside right now and snag me a Tom, Dick, or a Hank, best believe. And he would cater to every need. Y'all think y'all flexing by saying, oh, we date other races. Baby, best believe when we see you with that, we know exactly what it means. You cannot handle a queen. And when people see my man with me, they know exactly what it means, baby. I stand for strength, power. He has, he's an alpha. When you see a man with a black woman, know he can handle this mouth and this ass. You're weak. Mm -hmm. You're a buster. Mm -hmm. You know, this girl had a lot to say, guys. And I would say majority of black women what really gets under their skin is when they see a black man dating outside of black women if you guys didn't see in the left hand corner of the clip that i just showed you guys the girl was responding to a, tw uh, a tweet or some comment uh basically saying that black men are dating other women but particularly because they want don't want to deal with the attitude and stuff that you saw in the clip uh that i just showed you earlier and um, guys, that really gets under the black woman's skin. And that's why you'll typically see black women do what this girl did in the clip, which is use uh, words of affirmation. You know what I mean? Basically saying, you know, I'm a queen. I'm a goddess. I'm, I represent strength and power. You saw how she was doing that. But really, guys, when I see that, I view that as insecurity. You know what I mean? And unfortunately, guys, you know, you usually see this with, with liberal women. Unfortunately, everything goes back to politics. You usually see this with liberal women. It's not just black, but it's majority black women where they're just masculine. They have these masculine tendencies where they don't want to submit to their man. That's ultimately what it comes down to. And it also comes to a point where they want to compete with their man. And any man that's, you know, making six figures or have a good career and is confident in himself doesn't want to deal with that. Now, the girl mentioned something about basically putting her life on the back burner for a boyfriend and why women shouldn't do that. Basically what she's saying is why submit to a, my boyfriend? Why cater to my boyfriend? Why be feminine around my boyfriend? You know what I mean? But my thing is how are you going to become a wife if you can't prove that you're going to be nurturing, caring, nice, and kind as a girlfriend? And it's the same thing for men too. Like how are you going to prove that you can be a husband if you're not proving that you're strong, grounded, you know what I mean, financially stable as a boyfriend. Now, uh, a lot of people think that black people can't be racist. But imagine if a white girl was to repeat everything that this black girl said in this clip earlier. They would be calling her racist. They would be trying to figure out her real name, figure out where she works, get her canceled. You know what I mean? I don't see why the same standard isn't put on black people as well that, that basically are condemning uh, biracial couples. Basically, guys, as I wrap this up, the behavior that this girl was demonstrating in the clip that I just showed you guys, it leads to nothing but disaster, right? All it, in my opinion, leads to is single motherhood. You know what I mean? Or if somebody does marry a girl like the one in the clip I just showed you, they're doing it because they have no self-confidence. They're usually a weaker man. And so they're going to reproduce weaker children. You know what I mean? Weaker boys. When you look at the crime rates, when you look at the school failure rates in a lot of these inner cities, it's because these kids, nine times out of 10, are coming from single parent households. The behavior that this girl demonstrated in the clip that I showed you guys usually is the precursor to becoming a single mother. You may look good now. And you guys watch Kevin Samuels. You guys know what I'm talking about. You may look good now. But over time, your looks are going to fade away. And what do you have to offer? You know what I mean? This is how single mothers end up in the position that they're in. You know what I mean? So it's important to discourage this kind of behavior. You know what I mean? I feel like conservatism is a much better deal where you're pushing traditional family, nuclear family structure. Women are feminine, men are masculine. That's the natural order. And that's quite frankly, guys, in my opinion, the only order that works. Now, the girl mentioned also in the video where she was like saying pretty much when she sees a black man with a white woman, black women know what that is. You know what I'm saying? Basically, she's insinuating that 
black men can't handle the girl's sarcasm and, and nasty remarks and nasty attitude, things like that. So they go to white women. That's what she's saying, pretty much. And uh, when I see that, guys, I pretty much think that guys don't want to deal with that anymore. You know, guys, especially guys who are successful and make money, they want women who are going to be nice, kind, nurturing, feminine. They don't want to come home and deal with a pit bull every day. They don't want to come home to fake hair, fake nails, fake eyelashes, a, a face full of makeup. You know, a lot of successful men don't want to have to deal with that. You know what I mean? Especially as you get older, guys. So I don't think that is that black men don't want to deal with black women necessarily. They might not want to deal with women who are like you. And it's not just black women, guys. I just use black women for the sake of simplicity. But it's a lot. It's a culture and it's a mindset that promotes that kind of behavior. Usually it's left-leaning, liberals that think like that. Like I said, guys, that behavior leads only to disaster. You won't have a successful marriage. You won't have a successful family. Your chances of becoming a single mother goes up. And all you're doing is contributing to the society problem that we have with delinquency in America. I could be wrong about this, guys. I don't think I am. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section box below. Like this video, share this video, and subscribe to my channel for more content.